Hey, good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nathan, Texty, Sexty John. Hey, baby, I'm running late. <laughs> <laughs> Full transparency. Uh, now, she won't know until this video comes out because she's a great supporter, my lovely girlfriend, but she's outside sitting in the car. I'm like, we're just going to do one or two videos. We're doing three. We're up to number three. It's fine. We're we're so sorry, babe. It's because Darkest Hour have dropped a new one, one with the void. The album is out as well, and I'm so excited to listen to this goddamn thing. I love Darkest Hour. What are you we, excited about? I just, I just, I, I love this band. They are just an incredible metal band. They I really are. I've only and done them once before on the channel. Yeah. They're yeah. just a really good metal band. They have some of my favorite riffs ever. Ever? Ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever, ever? No, it's forever, ever. Since I've loved it. Uh, you Maybe. know what the, the song title reminds you of? What? A Friends episode. Because they're all like, the one with the... One with the void. One with the void. Anyway, let's check it out. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope it's a, a highlight reel of Friends. Have you watched a Friends right. blooper reel? No. So funny. But I love blooper reels. I watch Me the too. Always Sunny blooper reels all the time. I watch the Office blooper reels all yeah. the time. Watch Friends okay. one as well. That's okay. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy yeah. that. Three, two, one. Damn, hair's long as shit. Kind of looks like Aaron Polly from The Voice Men. Yeah. I get a bit of a Garrett Silent Planet vocal tone there. Uh, yeah, I can hear that. So much less aggressive than I was expecting. He has moments where he sounds like Aaron Gillespie too. They have never done a song like this. No. This is very different. And I'm very much enjoying the grandiose, slow, um, ominous, vibey sort of thing they're doing here. It's really cool. I was looking up then. Yeah. I've been, this whole thing being like, this sounds so much like someone. And I, I realized I said, I'll oh, get some Aaron Gillespie tones there. It's not just the vocal tone. It sounds like something off Lost in Sound Separation or even... Oh, yeah, okay. The next album, Disambiguation, yep. which actually didn't have Aaron on it, but it has like a real like atmospheric-y, it still has heaviness, but then it kicks into this sort of like, yeah, ephemeral... Yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying it, but it's so different anything we've heard from them. So different. So it, this is also the most clean vocals we've got out of him yeah. ever. Yeah. Uh, also, I just realised who his voice reminds me of. Who? Matt Tuck from Bullet for My Valentine. Okay, I'll pay attention for that now. When he goes grittier. Yeah.
dude's a great singer. What is better than dual harmonies? Like a guitar solo that's dual harmony. Do you wish you had long hair so you could just do the... I, I used to, not now. Used to have long hair? No, I used to wish I had long, sugar, long hair, sugar. but I'm just way too... I can't commit to that. Uh, also, I love the fact that like the rest of the band's not in it. It's just him. Like, what do you want me to do here? Just vibe while the song Sway, going. baby. Yeah. Sway that just hair around. It. You grew it, sway it. What if <laughs> someone was to be go like, instant long hair, would you do it? Yeah, I'd give it a go. Yeah. What if they said, you have that for a year? Oh, and I couldn't cut it for a year? Yeah. Yeah, I'd give it a go. Great. Yep. Because I've been working on my magical powers, and boy, do I have news for <laughs> you. I was you. like, what's he going to do? It looks sick too. I like the variations that the drums do on That vocal control at the end was so nice. Just to slip from the heaviness to the grit and then just something delicate. Trail out really softly. Yeah, delicate. You know, I, I wanted That's to right. say this before, but I didn't want to pause it towards the end again. It actually reminded me of something like um, Two Towers by Fit from Autopsy, in like the mm. way the song was Bills. like epic and built, yeah. and there was lots of, like you said, when you're like, oh, I love the like, differentiation in the drum parts. Yeah. That sort of vibe reminded me heaps of something like that track. There's plenty of space in it. That is the most different song I, I've I've heard them do. Like, and I, I really do, I, I'd love to know what Darkest Hour fans think of that because. The comment section is pretty positive. They've been around for so long. As yeah. well now. Like, so long. That was sick. I... I supported them when I was in that metal band, Inane Eminence. That is so long ago. That's long ago. And that was on, like, their third album. That was just after you turned 40, right? <laughs> God help himself. Uh, yeah, I love that. That was great. He's got a sick voice. One I time I want him to get one of those jokes out and just keep it dead straight face. Just like, yeah. But I can't. Yeah, Every time I do it... I get a bit of a smile. 41, 42. Yeah. Yeah. 30 <laughs> something years ago. What did you guys think of One With The Void, the brand new track from Darkest Hour? If you haven't checked out the band before, definitely go and give them a listen to some older stuff so you can get a vibe for what we're saying about how different that was compared to mm. what we're sort of used to from that band. Do you listen to much of them? Not, not religiously, but I've listened to them enough to be like, that's so unique and different yeah. from that band. Does that make you want to give the album a listen? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm so interested to see what's... Have you listened to any of it? Yeah, yeah I have. I've okay. listened to a bit of it, yeah. Cool. Is so, there more of that on there, or is that unique to it? There's there's more clean vocals than usual, but, like, what 
they had one album that had a fair bit of clean choruses and things like that. But what I've listened to so far is there's some really heavy stuff and there's some stuff that's got a bit more, I guess, catchy stuff, but not like that. Yeah, okay, cool. So thanks for being here. See you guys next time.